Hi, I'm Danielle. And I'm Sadie. And today we're going to talk about how to modularize your GraphQL schema so that you can have multiple separate GraphQL servers with separate deployment pipelines, but have them roll up into the same super graph. That sounds exciting. Ready? Yes. Okay, wait, are you ready? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, yes. Let me. So first things first is we're going to need a schema. You might already have a schema on hand already downloaded, but for our purposes, we'll be using Rover Introspection to grab the SpaceX API. What we'll do is we'll use Rover Graph Introspect with the SpaceX API and save it to schema.graphql. Then what we'll do is we'll hit enter. And there you go. There's our schema. It's just that easy. So now that we have the SpaceX schema, we're going to want to connect it to another schema in a different server. And the way that we make it ready to be connected is by making it ready to be federated using Apollo Federation. So at the very top of our schema file, we're going to import the at key directive, which means that we can now turn certain types in this first schema into entities. If you have an entity, you can extend it in other schemas. So we're going to go down to our launch type now, and I'm going to use this at key directive to say the way that you identify this type in other services for extension is using the ID field. Now, if Sadie has an ID for a launch, she can extend it on her end. Now that our schema is extendable, I also have a second schema called crew.graphql. And what I would like to do is connect the two schemas together using Rover Dev. So I'm going to run Rover Dev here, press enter, and then now it should be running. What we'll also do is we'll add in the launch type as we did earlier. Type launch at key fields with the string ID, open brackets, with the ID field, as well as the crew field, which is an array of crew types. And now we're ready to add it into our local supergraph. So when Sadie ran Rover Dev on her computer, she started a supergraph running on localhost 3000. We can actually go to localhost 3000 and explore this supergraph with the Apollo sandbox. So far, this is pretty much just the SpaceX API. We can come in here, we can query launches and their ID. And you might have noticed that crew does not appear here yet. And that's because we haven't yet composed that crew subgraph into our overall supergraph. So we're going to go back to our terminal. We're going to type rover dev again and point it at the crew subgraph. And we're going to come back to sandbox. We're going to wait a second. And then you'll see crew pop in here. And now I can query for crew and their favorite cookies. Now, when we run this request, we're not going to get any real data because here we're just playing with schemas and not resolvers. But if we go and we look at our query plan, you can see that the Apollo router in this super graph is automatically figuring out that it needs to fetch data from both SpaceX and the crew subgraph in order to give a response to this query. And because I'm using GraphOS, I can even defer the fields in this query if I'm worried about this extra fetch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So what did we do here today? We took a schema and we turned it into a super graph so that we could add more to it using Rover Dev. And then we also used the query plan so that we could visualize what GraphOS is really doing here. We use the SpaceX schema, but you're more than welcome to try it out with your own API schema, no matter how complicated it is or how simple it is. And there you go, we made our own super graph. There you go, here goes the schema.